setting up your easel and lights for videos. Now to set up your easel and lights and your camera, that's very important. You need to find the best angle. Here's some easel tips for video. You need to have a steady camera. It cannot move. A jiggly video is a bad video. For example, too, you would need to set it up at the same angle as your painting. This guy right here isn't doing it right. His camera, his painting, his painting is at this angle. His camera is at that angle. So you get a distorted view. The other thing that's wrong is that he's facing the light. That means there would be a glare in the camera. Don't have lighting that is shining from the back. There will be a glare into the camera and a backlit painting means a dark painting. Do have it coming in from the side and make sure that your angle of camera is the same as your canvas. If I have an angle like this, a 10 o'clock angle, then my camera needs to be at 10 o'clock. If I have an 11 o'clock angle, my camera needs to be at 11 o'clock. And by camera, I mean iPhone. Here in my visuals, I have actual cameras, but you can use your iPhone to do the same thing. If you're talking into the camera, the light should shine towards your face. There should be no light facing the camera. There should be no light behind you. A light that's behind you makes your face dark. Make sure that the lighting is soft, and flattering. The best light is daylight on an overcast day. But if you have to set up your own lights, make sure they are not harsh. LED lights are your second best to an overcast day. I'm going to repeat this a lot. When you set up your painting, the angle of the camera should be the same. In this one, the painting is on the wall, so you get a flat surf vertical surface. The camera should have that same angle. The on the left, that's a no-no. You only do that if you're really desperate. On the right, if he was to set up a camera, it would have to be at this angle. Tripods come in all sizes. You can get very small ones like the one you see or very large ones for when you're standing up. You can get all kinds of lights. I've gotten lights from the hardware store, LED lights. This is a circular light with a addition where you can have something holding the camera while you paint. The light I have actually has a holder for my iPhone in the middle of the circular light. It is fantastic. It's a model better than this one. You get bright light for while you're painting and the camera does not move. Here are some ideas for you. I wish I'd had some of those ideas when I first started. These people built their own holders for their iPhones. So the one on the left, there's two sides and then you hold the camera at the top. In this one, they have a bar that goes up and holds the camera and the steady part is at the bottom. Here is somebody set up a selfie stick and tied it to something. On the right is a tripod with another mini flexible tripod that's holding your camera. Your iPhone, that is your camera. That's a really steady setup, but it only works for small pieces. The lighting for this one would be very hard to do too. Somebody set up a flexible tripod on a shelf to hold the camera. This person has a flexible arm, those old-fashioned lights, and he tied his camera to it. Here you have a do-it-yourself idea where there's a pole that holds another pole that holds the camera. Make sure it's steady. That's the important part. On the right, you have another version of what we saw before, but on a table. On the left, you have a very sturdy setup a triangle set up where you have lots of room to maneuver. So you would have lots of room to paint and move your hand. On the right, you have that flexible arm with a holder for your camera. 
This is a better view. One more tip. This is only for emergencies. If you are filming someone doing artwork and you don't have a tripod, you need to brace your hand, just like in the photo here. This helps a lot. There's nothing worse than a shaky video. Decide which way you want to work and we'll see you in the next section.